Hello friends, thanks for tuning into this week's tech tip. I am going to talk to you today about how to delete a whole bunch of emails out of Gmail all at once instead of 50 or 100 at a time. And you can thank my good friend Candy Meehan over at Home Rental Services for this. We were on a call with their staff Tuesday, yesterday, whenever that was, and we were talking about this as a team and multiple people had struggled with this. And then after that meeting, I had people send me emails, hey, I had an idea for a tech tip. Here it is at the end of the year and I'm trying to clean up my Gmail and I just figured out how to do it all at once. It's not obvious. I'm like, okay, I have enough warnings that are, are road signs telling me I need to do this tech tip. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to delete a whole bunch, many thousands of emails all at once with just a few clicks. Um, and I didn't want to share my screen for this one because there's too much stuff I'd have to blur out for privacy reasons. So I just picked like five key screenshots to walk you through. So you might want to have this video playing on one screen or on, on a side of your screen while you pull up your Gmail account. And the first thing that you're going to want to do, this might shock you. You might not even realize how many emails you have sitting in your Gmail that are, you know, 150,000 emails. So pull up your Gmail account and over on the left, look for the folder that the label that says categories. And if you expand that, you're going to see additional labels that are social updates, forums, and promotions. And you'll see in the screenshot that I'm sharing with you that I currently have 11,574 unread emails in that folder. And there's actually 26,000 emails in that social label with that label attached to them. And updates, there's 34,000, forums 1,400, and promotions 103,000. I've actually done some work on all of these before I actually took these screenshots. I had over 210,000 emails in the promotions folder. So it's one of those things that's just taken up a ton of space, so why not delete it? So let's say that you wanted to clear out all of the emails that have been tagged with the label social. Well, what you do is you first click on social, right? So click on that and it'll bring up a screen and I'll switch over to uh, actually did promotions. So let's just, let's go back to that and say promotions. Let's say you click on promotions and then it's going to bring up all of the emails that have promotions with that label attached to them. What, what you do once you see that screen is hit that check box in the top left and that's going to select the whole screen, right? Of the, the it's going to be the hundred, the most recent hundred promotion emails. And then don't miss this. This is incredibly important because if you just clicked the delete button at that moment, it'll only de delete those hundred that were selected. And then you could go through that again and again and again. And if you have, like I said, 200,000 emails, that's going to take you four hours. There's this section. And I'll switch the screen now to select all 202,000 conversations and promotions. So you go ahead and click that little blue bar that I've got an arrow shown on the screen right now to select the whole filtered label. And the next thing you do is click the uh, delete can sign. And that's going to say all 202,000 conversations and promotions are selected. And then you click the delete button. And then it's going to say confirm bulk action. And you say OK. Now you're going to want to be patient because this can take a while to run. So let it run. Don't touch the window. Don't do other things. Just let it run. And here's another caveat. So this is so many emails that there will be errors. Some of you will see errors, right? And so what I figured out as a workaround is instead of deleting all 200,000 emails all at once, you could actually do it year by year. That might sound a little more tedious, but it works. And so what I did is there's an additional switch that you can add after uh, category colon promotions. You can put a space and then you put after the word after colon and then year, month, day. And what you're basically saying with that is, so let's say this is 2023 and I wanted to delete all the emails from 2022 to 2023. Well, I would say category promotions space after colon 2022 slash one slash one. And if I do that, it's only going to select all the emails from 2022, January 1st of 2022 up to today. And then you go ahead and click the delete button and delete all those and wait for it. It won't take quite as long now because it's only a year and a half worth of emails. And then you continue doing this process and ratchet down that number of the year, right? So you can do a year at a time. So from 2022, then to 2021, then to 2020. I had emails all the back to two, way back to 2006, 
right? So I basically cleared out all of the soil and it took me probably 10 minutes to do this process and it would have taken me at least a couple of hours to do them a hundred at a time. So that is how you clean up a whole bunch of Gmail emails all at once. But that public service announcement for the end of the year is why not spend a few minutes cleaning up your Gmail account and freeing up a bunch of storage or you're going to get that email from Google saying, hey, you're about out of storage. Would you like to pay for more storage? Too many people hit the easy button and pay for the additional storage and there's really no reason for it because you could go in and clean up all these old emails. From, and I was the same person. I'm, I was at fault for it too with emails back to 2006. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. I hope you'll send this one to all your friends because they need to know how to do this too. Everybody struggles with this one. And I have a feeling over the next year or two, this one's gonna have some legs because it's just not obvious how to do that. So I hope you're having a great week. I really hope you have a great holiday season and I'll see you next time.